we'll start. We want to welcome Eileen Bell, E.C. Bell, um, author of the Mary Jenner Mysteries, uh, the new ones coming out at the end of the month, tying the knot. Welcome, Eileen. Hi there. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Considering we're only really three hours away from each other, we never see each other. No. <laughs> Except that no conventions which don't exist anymore. <laughs> That's exact. That is the truth. It has been forever since I've driven down to Calgary. And you owe me a scotch, so. Oh, man, I do, too. Okay, well, <laughs> hey, soon, with any <laughs> luck, if this is going to happen soon. Well, well, next next year, hopefully, we'll do the scotch room again. The... I, I like that idea very, very much. <laughs> Here. <laughs> So what have you been doing besides writing? Because this is your second last book. Have you started the last one yet? Yes. I'm working hard at tying up all the storylines and getting <laughs> everybody to exactly where I need them to be to end this thing off. So it's going a little, it's taking longer than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be easy. I knew where it was going to end. So I thought, oh. Cool, I'll be able to get them there. But we have taken such a long, wandering <laughs> <laughs> route with these seven books that, uh, or with these eight books that uh, it's it's tougher than I thought it was going to be. And having to say goodbye to these characters too. This is, uh, I've been, been with them a long time. Yes. So that's what that's what's taking so long is the goodbyes and the complications that I managed to throw <laughs> into everything. <laughs> so it will end at eight? You don't foresee yeah. a... If there's... If I do anything with her after this, it will be a different... It'll be a different series. It'll be... It'll go in a completely different direction. But right now, I'm not... I'm not planning on it. I'd like to... In I'd a like different to, direction yourself. I'd like to go in a different direction myself. <laughs> That's exactly right. I understand. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about book seven as spoiler free as possible. Okay. <laughs> as spoiler free I know. as possible. I mean, the title oh, itself oh is <laughs> yeah. a big yeah, spoiler. That kind of stuff. Oh, that title. I swear. I went through about 15 different po title possibilities <laughs> as I was writing the thing. And I just kept writing myself right out of the, right out of the title that I had chosen. So when it got down to the end, it was basically, okay, what's left? What is left <laughs> that I could actually call this thing? So luckily well, Mar Margaret came up. No, uh, Rhonda. Came up, with Parrish came up with that and uh i went oh thank god <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me so that's that's how we ended up with that one but okay spoiler free well if you uh, go back to book one mm -hmm. which will help with this one oh yeah james laval inherited the detective agency from his uncle jimmy yes so spoiler free he goes to Vegas to find out what happens to Uncle Jimmy. Yes, that's well, and that is basically it. And uh, uh, Marie goes along because Jimmy's dead. Uh, because Jimmy's dead, and he's his uh, his uh, spirit is stuck there, and so she goes to help move him along yep. and get get a little bit of a holiday too. She's really looking forward to a holiday. She always wanted to go to Las Vegas. And uh, so she thought, well, cool, I can do Have that. I can do that. No. And really? here's the thing. <laughs> when I put this all together, I thought, cool, by the time I get to whatever book this is, I'll be able to take a small trip, you know, take a weekend and go down there and get the sights and the smells and, and the world know, ended. everything. <laughs> right. And then when I started writing it, well, World ended. And started to turn really sideways, right? And then all of a sudden, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and I can't go anywhere. 
So luckily, um, Rhonda Parrish, who edits edits mm-hmm. these books, she goes to Las Vegas fairly regu- regularly. She really likes it there. So I sent her, the last time she went, I could see the writing on the wall. I could see that there was a good chance, yeah. you know, that I wasn't going to make it down there. So the last time she went, I gave her the, a list of things to look for, <laughs> things to smell, things to all this other stuff, right? Give me, give me the stuff that uh, I need to be able to make this story as real as life. I've been there, right? And she was good. She texted me as, as soon as she <laughs> did something, she was texting me, right? So I got to use a lot of the stuff that, uh, the bits and pieces that make a story come alive. Mm-hmm. I got to use them from her. And, uh, but I swear, honestly, I was planning on going, I was planning on doing the whole thing, right? And then it just, the wheels fell off and here I am. Last in time we went, we did the Star Trek experience, which doesn't exist in Vegas anymore. And it was the last year that it was in Vegas. Uh-huh. So we stayed at the hotel and did the whole Star Trek experience, went behind the scenes. So there's pictures of my husband and I on the bridge and in the Borg ship. Oh, my God. That okay, cool. that that would have been pretty cool. That would have been I would have done that. <laughs> yeah. So and there's and and the restaurant was themed too. So with with the characters walking around. So John's got a picture of himself with an Andorian, and uh-huh. we did, oh. we they don't have that there anymore. But we went. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have to do that. Yeah. Before it left, so we did that. We spent a week, and I'd say of the week, four days was just doing the Star Trek stuff at the ho- oh, hotel, my. and then we did all the. You know, we we went and we saw like Penn and Teller, and we saw Elton John was playing that year, so we saw mm-hmm. him in Vegas too. And oh wow, did all okay. that other stuff too. That's that was the only time we went to Vegas, but we made it worth it. <laughs> hey, that that sounds that sounds pretty wonderful. And actually, it's since I since I wrote this book, it's gone on my list of really on my list. Like I was going to go for research. Honest yeah. to God, I never had a real compulsion to go to Vegas, but uh, the more I researched on it, the more I found out what was there and what, what was going on, the more I thought, you know, this really feels like a place you have to see at least once. Right? Yeah, I mean, we went for the Star Trek thing. We, you uh-huh. know, it's good if you have a specific thing. And at the time, and, you know, whatever. Um, Vegas has the worst airport we have ever been in. Okay. It's like they put all their money into everything else. And at mm-hmm. the, it might be better now because this was, I don't know, 10 years ago. But it mm-hmm. was small and dingy. And it was oh. not what you would expect of Vegas. Yeah. You'd think world class. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, that was something I didn't ask. I just <laughs> Google mapped it and saw, okay, how long does it take to get? from the airport and how do you do that and can they rent an, a, a, a car because they needed a car yeah because uh marie had places she had to go and uh <laughs> she couldn't walk so she we needed a car but uh other than that it was that was as far as i went with the with the airport well, it, like i said it might be different now uh-huh. this was 10 years ago but we were surprised uh-huh. that you know, out of all of it. Yeah. Well, I guess they have other things on their minds, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. It's Vegas, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. Now we do the awkward silence I warned you about. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, like, well, we think of the next topic. So, where have you been if you haven't been to Vegas? Uh, you mean in my life? Yeah, in general. What was, just, what's your okay. favorite? What's your favorite place to have visited it outside of Alberta? El, okay, uh, probably my favorite was Paris. I went to Paris. We Harold and I went to my husband and I went to Paris for four days, and 
at the end of probably day two, I was looking around for apartments to rent. You know, <laughs> why don't we just stay here? Because this is like perfect. How long ago and was that? That was, ooh, our first anthology was coming out oh, around so that time. So it was, yeah. yeah, that was 10 years ago. 11 years ago maybe more like 12 or 13 i bet okay maybe even closer to 15. well the time is just screaming marie, by now yeah. I, you've been with for marie close to 10 years now oh that's right holy crap a decade with this girl yeah. oh because <laughs> you skipped Long. last year yeah so even though this is seven it's year eight or nine yeah that's the that's the truth yeah it yeah. probably was so but Anyways, that's the, uh, that was the, that is still my favorite, my favorite place. I'd, I'd love to be able to go back and hang around there and check out some other stuff in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. My in-laws have traveled all of Europe. We, we don't travel much. We're not big travelers. We've been to mm -hmm. Mexico and Vegas, like I said, and, and John's traveled a bit with work, but, um, yeah, we haven't been to Europe, but my in-laws have, and we're always looking at the pictures going, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, we decided to do it. Just because we decided to do it. That was a, that was our first actual holiday uh, that didn't have anything to do with kids sports or any of the other stuff that, you know, yes. usually we were trailing a, a kid around to uh, various and sundry softball tournaments right and uh, we got to see some pretty cool stuff while we were doing that but uh this one was just just for us and uh yeah we spent four days in london and that was pretty cool and uh and then we spent four days in paris and that was amazing i i go back there almost in a minute if I could have one of those apartments. Oh, they just look so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing now? That's not Marie related. related. <laughs> oh my God. You know, not much. To be perfectly honest, you asked me about, okay, well, what, uh, what hobbies are you doing? What, you know, and I realized I've set in, I have settled into the most sedentary lifestyle <laughs> I, I think I could possibly find. I don't, uh, I've started thinking about my yard, like what flowers and stuff I want. This is, this is a thing I do every year, but, uh, <laughs> it's just really way back in my mind. We've been watching Netflix, like just gorging on. What have you been watching? Um, okay. Let's see. I personally have gone through as much of the Chandra Rhymes stuff as I possibly oh, yeah. can because it's high action, soapy stuff. <laughs> I don't really have to think about it too terribly much. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud, but uh, uh, there's enough stuff going on. And, you know, she jumps the shark, but that's okay. You just, you're <laughs> willing to go with her on just about anything, right? So I've been doing a fair bit of that. <clears throat> the Star, Star Trek um, stuff, anything that's on Netflix, I've been, I've been just gorging myself. Yeah, my husband that. does that when, there, when he's got nothing else, you know, or if I'm not there, he'll just put on a Star Trek. I stayed away from it for a while. It was kind of surprising. Uh, because I thought, oh, well, I've seen it, you know, it's done. It's, you know. No, I done. don't know, because we've seen them all like 20 okay. times. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I gotcha. Um, <clears throat> that's the way I am with Supernatural. I don't know if you've ever watched I've, that. I've show. watched the first seven or eight seasons I, when they came to Netflix I binge watched them all I hadn't watched yeah. them prior to that but I haven't seen I think they've only gone to season seven or eight on Netflix and I haven't seen after that yeah well I'm I have all of the DVDs and because I play it 
constantly. If there's nothing on TV, I plug that baby in and and that's what I for some reason that show is just it just has me. So I uh, I watch it a lot. I've managed to step away from it a little bit lately. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I've been watching some of this other stuff and kind of cleansing my palate just a little bit. But uh, you know, that's uh, Supernatural was one of one of my favorites. Well, and- my husband to Star Trek is well, like this. Um, last week we were we he he was off for spring break because he's an educator, and mm-hmm. and we we were watching the movie Ice Station Zero. Okay. Quite an old movie. Mm-hmm. And he's looking at an actor and he's looking at him. And then he says to me, because I had my iPad by me, he says, look up this particular episode. And I don't remember, but he named a Star Trek original episode. And oh I said, God. okay. And I said, now look, and he says, look up the, this actor. And I go, how did you know what episode that particular actor was in just by looking at him? Uh-huh. Like, there's no way you could name <laughs> okay, the original pretty... series episode this actor was in just by seeing him in the movie Ice Station Zebra. Oh my god, the best I could do is I think I know that guy from he was somewhere. In that thing once. <laughs> Harold, you remember, right? That's what I'm like. And then he goes, he goes for it. And it, well, actually... I pull up IMDB. Where do I know this guy from? I pull uh-huh. up IMDB, find him on the whatever movie we're watching, and then you know, dive in from there and go, oh, okay, he was here. That's where I know him. Yeah. That's fine. That's I uh-huh. think pretty typical, but <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, that's pretty that's pretty spectacular. I, I have know. to I have to I talk. was impressed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Okay, anything else I've been doing? Oh, we did some more renovating. And well, uh, this, was, this was actually last year before, before, it was just before Christmas, I think. I swear to God, this, the, this year and a half is just, it blends. <laughs> I, okay, what month is it, right? It isn't even the day anymore. It's what month, month. am I actually <laughs> in, right? But, uh, and uh, yeah, we tore everything down. We painted the upstairs, and um, <clears throat> like I live in a roundhouse, right? Yeah. So painting the upstairs is really a deal. This is not just walls. You have to do the ceiling. You have to do everything, and it's way up there. And oh my god! But we did it. We and we did it ourselves. We didn't get anybody in. We thought about it for a little bit because, oh man. We're getting a little older now and not quite as enthusiastic about this stuff as we used to be. <laughs> well, it's by about five years ago. And I would say we're pretty close to the same age, believe it or not. Um, mm-hmm. Five years ago, we moved from our, we had a single family dwelling and we mm-hmm. moved into a townhouse condo. So we don't have to deal with the yard. We don't have to, you know, if the oh, deck okay. needs painting, they'll paint the deck. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> we just went, no, we're tired of this. Yeah. I, ooh, I understand it. I understand it completely. It's, uh, well, the kids are in their thirties. They don't need us the same because we moved from Calgary to Airdrie. So we don't mm-hmm. need to be in the same town as them and they're in their 30s they can deal now yeah yeah oh yeah it's the truth like i said we've gotten sedentary every every once in a while we'll take a drive around and look yeah. at you know the new condos that are going up because then you're more active than us yeah it's but we look at them and go you know i don't think so i think we'll just stay here this is kind of nice and we got a nice yard and we'll do the thing and the dog would be upset if we moved right yeah we blame everything on the dog well the cat so. wasn't happy when we moved but she got used to it <laughs> well and i would I, I would imagine that the dog would learn to you know live with it but uh no we're not we're not doing that just yet yeah, we decided we're lazy and we we're not outdoor people anyways like we don't mm-hmm. there's a spot on the deck for a gas barbecue we don't have a gas bar we don't have a barbecue mm-hmm. all our ha- hobbies are indoors like we're big gamers both mm-hmm. computer and tabletop games so we have a room dedicated to tabletop games 
Oh my and, God. A and room? you know, when we watch TV and we read, oh yeah, we've got close to 300 tabletop games. Oh. But when okay. there wasn't a pandemic, we'd have people over almost every weekend. So. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Yes. But it's still a sedentary hobby. You're sitting uh -huh. down playing. You're not really doing anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, yeah, over this last winter, we, like, I try to walk the dog. At least, you know, I mean, you're you walk him once a day, right? Give him, give him a little <laughs> bit of exercise and then sniff stuff, you know, all that other good stuff. I swear, we got so lazy the both of us we basically <laughs> look at each other and i'd say okay buddy you want to go out today nah let's just watch tv so that's what we did <laughs> and finally it finally warmed up enough we started walking and my legs were killing me and blah 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 yeah we did that this week it's been warm enough here in calgary so i went for a walk on monday Mm -hmm. for the first time and when we walk because we're we're right next to a, a heron preserve uh -huh. so it, it's a huge it's like five kilometers that I like to walk so yeah same thing I was dead by the time I got home <laughs> oh god yeah well buddy got a um a new frisbee for oh, Easter wow. okay the, the next door neighbors actually yeah. found it they were cleaning out their basement that's what they're doing to uh you know <laughs> That's what they're doing. We're not. But anyway, she, she found this. It's really cute. It was about this this size. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, green and purple. It had Easter colors. Like, it was just <laughs> So we're standing across there. She's on the other side. And we're, you know, we're mm -hmm. chit-chatting. And I'm throwing this frisbee for the dog. And he just lost his mind. <laughs> Chased it everywhere. He was running like he was three years old, right? And just, oh, so enthusiastic. And mm, so we just kept it up for a long time. Okay, now remember, <laughs> this is the dog who wouldn't go outside if it was too cold, right? This is the dog who I'd rather watch TV. Well, that night, his leg hurt so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> he could, I was a little concerned. Now, he's only got one back leg. All right, oh, yeah. and so we don't actually want to really, you know, cripple him by. <laughs> so, so oh exercise. my God, am I going to have to carry you outside? He managed to get up and walk around, but I knew exactly how he felt <laughs> because that's the way I feel when we go for a really long walk, right? Oh dear. So we decided to tap her just a little bit cooler you know maybe 15 minutes he'll chase the frisbee now and uh, yeah. <laughs> but we'll try and get a little muscle mass back both of us oh <laughs> my god <laughs> yeah our cat's old so she doesn't she exercises occasionally she get yesterday uh -huh. she was pretty frisky but she's about 14 so she's pretty late oh back. they get pretty settled well he's He's 10 now. Oh, yeah. So he's, so getting he's up actually, there. yeah, he's getting up there, right? And uh, and actually, it's more important now that uh, we ex exercise him more and keep keep his muscle mass up, right? Because yeah. if something goes bad with that back leg, no, I don't exactly. know what I don't know what will happen, right? Yeah. It's uh, he's too heavy for us to carry, and uh, so well. We'll be sending you some questions probably, if not this week, next week. I just have Margaret looking at them to see if there's any she wants added. So send us a picture of your dog when you, and we'll put it in the next newsletter too. Okay, I'll do that. I've got some, I've got some good ones. He is terrifically photogenic. Thank <laughs> God somebody in this house is because, oh dear. But yes, I'd be happy to do that. We can add it to next newsletter. Your dog, your workspace, whatever. Okay. Actually, that would be, I can do that too, because that was one of the big things when the renovation went on. I, my workspace was a nightmare, just a <laughs> nightmare of, of paper and books and 
just crap and corruption everywhere. So well, I showed you mine before we went on. Air, oh, so. actually, that looked quite nice. You know, <laughs> it just looked a little bit. It looked a little bit. Everything's in. off camera. <laughs> Push it to the side. Just put. Well, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> pardon me. But the, the worst part was I had a ton of book, bookshelves upstairs that yeah. and uh, I had rafts of books on the floor in front of the bookshelves oh, because my. I had no more space. It was just it was insane what I had going on. So you want to know a good way to clean? Move. Uh-huh. <laughs> we well, got rid of so much. Yeah. And I wouldn't doubt that. And actually, I look out there. That's that's three quarters of um, the idea of moving. Just oh my god, I don't have to. I don't want to go through any more of that. But I went through all my books and I got rid of probably forty five percent of them. We gave when I, I didn't moved think... about ninety percent to the kids. I don't know if they liked us or hated us at that point. <laughs> Okay, that just seems a tiny bit on the cruel side. <laughs> I have to tell you. Oh, dear. No, well, I know I, after we moved, they, um, the oldest had a, had a grad sale. So, ah, <laughs> so. See, actually, that's a, that's a smart idea. But, I mean, we were in the middle of the pandemic, right? So there was nothing, yeah, it's really nothing now. we could do. And I didn't, I didn't know of many places <clears throat> that were taking books so I took as many as I could but then some of them I had to I had to get rid of like throw away and we took so we took boxes down to the um eco station yeah. you know it's and there was people there and they went <laughs> do you mind if we go through these <laughs> please do <laughs> so they took the boxes aside uh, and uh, I think they took them home. Thank well, goodness, because good. I just felt I felt sick over the fact that I was actually going to get rid of these things. But I don't know. I, know I needed. I needed to be able to shelters move. Shelters take them. Actually, even um, the armed forces take them. They send mm -hmm. them to the soldiers overseas. And yeah, but usually they want the, um, the books that everybody wants to read. Yeah, that's true. And the books I had were the books that nobody wanted to read, <laughs> right? So it was. Somebody kind of, did because they took them out. <laughs> yes, and that's the truth. And good. Thank God for that. <laughs> that's all I can say. But uh, yeah, I sure figured out uh, what a weird, um, <laughs> what weird taste I have in books as because I just. I couldn't figure out where to get these. Oh, well, we don't take those. Ooh, <laughs> we don't take those. Oh, come on. I enjoyed it. You will really. Trust yeah, I know our me. daughter. Yeah. Oh, we lost you. Oh. We lost you, Eileen. Oh, come back. There you are. Okay. I. Okay. We sort of have you. Here. I touched nothing. No, if, if you have an internet hiccup or anything, this is going to be fun to watch because you're oh, freezing now. Oh, my internet connection is unstable. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. I can hear you, but you're not moving now. <laughs> ah, okay. Now you're well, moving. I'll just put my hands in my lap and I'll just... I'll just, of course. <laughs> yeah, it came up and oh, said, I, I am sorry about network this. bandwidth is low. <laughs> oh, my God. And, ooh, gotta love it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry about that. <laughs> That's oh. the way life is. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and you know, another thing that we've been doing, mm -hmm. um, I have that we got into over this pandemic. <clears throat> our daughter moved to Ottawa like about six or seven months before all of this started. Mm -hmm. And so she really didn't have a ton of friends there or anything else. And all of a sudden, she ever, everybody was in lockdown, right? So we started watching movies on Saturday nights together. Oh, yeah. We did the FaceTime thing. 
we picked the movie. We'd have to pick it from Netflix, whatever streaming stuff we had, right? Yeah. And uh, so we pick a movie, <clears throat> time it down to the second so that we were watching it at exactly <laughs> the same time and then let stop the FaceTime thing and just text to each other as the, as the show was going on. And then when it was over, we do FaceTime again and chit chat about what we watched and if we wanted to watch another one and how stupid that was and <laughs> all whatever, right? Because sometimes, oh my God, some of those movies were. I like to good. watch the really bad B horror movies, not the slasher ones. I don't like mm -hmm. like host Hostel or, or yeah. those, but they're really bad B horrors. Those are, I like to watch them. <laughs> and then I have a group of, group of online friends. And so I'll do what, what I call a play by play, which is basically one or two words about each scene. So they really mm -hmm. have no idea what's going on, but they're <laughs> terrible and they're great. I just love them. <laughs> Every once in a while, you'll find a gem in there that you weren't expecting, but yeah. Yeah. And that happens. And we've, it's we've been lucky enough to find that hasn't you know some shows that haven't been too terribly bad. But uh, generally speaking, one of the bigger problems is that we our choice like what we like it is so diverse. Mm -hmm. Like you know she she likes a particular kind of thing. My husband likes a particular kind of thing, <laughs> and then I like this weird stuff that <laughs> hangs around over here somewhere. So. Most of the week is taken up with us trying to find a movie that we can all agree on, <laughs> right? Oh, <wow. laughs> but hey, we've done it up to this up to this point. We're still we're still going now. We've been doing this for oh, a long freaking time, so it's uh, it's actually kind of cool. It's a neat way to be able to connect with people yeah. and connect with her, and um, you know, have a have an evening. It sounds so, like fun. Yeah, it actually it actually was. It uh, it kept us from losing our freaking minds. <laughs> this has been pretty long, I have to say. You know, this except for the weekends where we would have friends over, I haven't noticed a difference because I mean, let's face it, I work from home anyways, mm -hmm. and we're not outdoor people. We're we're game, we like to game on the computers, like tabletop games, we read, we watch movies. So we do that regardless of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes. we haven't noticed a big difference as far as well, that goes. Actually, that, that would be the same for me. I have to really watch it because I can, this is like my real hoax, mm -hmm. okay? Don't, ooh, I shouldn't go anywhere? Okay, exactly. I won't go anywhere no problem i have no problem with this whatsoever and uh so my yeah sometimes my husband gets a little concerned okay how long has it been since you left the house see my husband's even more oh. of an introvert than i am so it's even more like he has to leave being an educator he does leave every day for work mm -hmm. But he would be just as happy to just stay home and not talk to anyone also. He's even yeah. worse than I am for staying home. So oh man. Yeah, it's yeah, I can see I can see a real fight for my with myself to get back out there, you know, mm -hmm. go back to the conventions and the and the conferences and stuff that I was doing before. Because to be honest, I haven't missed that. We lost the last sentence. And uh, yeah. We're losing you again. No. Okay. Be honest, I haven't missed. Okay. <clears throat> what is going on? Okay. I can I'm sorry. You. It looks like it's from my end. And yeah, that's fine. I good. can see you again. Kick me in You're the back. butt the next time you see me. <laughs> I've had All right. I am when I What's did a, the interviews I used to, uh, way back when I first started with Taiki I did interviews as well and then we stopped for a while we're bringing them back I interviewed Jane Glatt and she accidentally had a sticky note over her over mm -hmm. her microphone 
and I, we could not figure out why her sound was terrible. And then at the end, she says, okay, I don't need these notes anymore. And she told, tore off the sticky note. Oh and my suddenly God. her audio was perfect that I went. So if you look in one of her books, in the acknowledgements, she says something like, thanks to Rhea for not holding wayward sticky notes against me. <laughs> That's what it's about. <coughs> okay, that's hilarious. Oh, dear. No, this is network issues. And My husband, he's going to have a job today. <laughs> he can well, find out why this is happening. It could also uh, depend upon what, like, because we are online so much, you know, between the gaming and the, mm -hmm. and the movies and whatnot, we have a pretty high tier networking through, through our provider. I think we're, if we're not the top, we're the second top. Mm -hmm. So, so we have a pretty stable network. So it depends upon also what your, what you've got through your provider too. We're supposed to be pretty high here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And being in the city, you should have really? a decent network. So, oh, you're absolutely right. So, like I said, he has a he now has a job. As soon as we're <laughs> done here, <laughs> we're going to find out what the heck's going on. Well, run a run oh, well. a diagnostic, and then you can also contact your network provider, and they'll run a diagnostic too. And because it uh -huh. could still be on their end, or or sometimes just the wiring in your house depends on how old your house uh -huh. is can do that too yeah so delightful like i said i'm leaving it up to him he can figure it out <laughs> or it could also be I'll how far away you are from your ass or something it could also be how far away you are from your router some houses uh -huh. if you're too far because of just the way they're built the walls uh -huh. and whatnot interfere there's yeah. like a hundred different things it could be. <laughs> yeah 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 I know. <laughs> uh, technology, it's so wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> and you learn just how much yeah. you depend upon it in these yeah, days. It's, it, you're, abs you're absolutely right. It's, uh, it's actually shocking, isn't it? Yeah. God. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Is there anything else you want to say? We've been at this 40 minutes already, believe it or not. Holy crap. Okay, that's good. I'm... <laughs> it's been great talking to you, actually. Well, maybe, I do, maybe I do miss human contact more than I knew. <laughs> well, the thing with the conventions, too, is like, I'm, I'm an introvert, but it, well, I'm half and half. I'm not a full introvert like my husband, but if you, they seem to still energize you a bit, even if you don't do them uh -huh. all the time you know and and that's yeah. the only time you talk and to it see is. people is like once a year is when you see actually see a lot of these people yeah that's and that's the truth and uh it is nice to see old friends and yeah you know touch base again and find out how things are going but touch base, uh, drink with them <laughs> yeah that's yes <laughs> Isn't that what conferences are? I, I thought they were. They are oh, in dear. my case. <laughs> <laughs> Not sleep. What sleep? Sleep is for wimps. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. oh, man. Okay. So give us your pluggables. If people want to um, stalk you, where would they go? Um. Do you have a public Twitter or a public Facebook or a public? I was going to have to. I was going to say they'd have to find my. They'd have to find my. So you don't have any that. public like Marie I, well, Jenner. I've got. Let me see. What about your um, website? You have a website. Yes, I do. Website. Okay, and that's. Do you want me to list it off here? Well, or... just just mention it, and I'll put it in the notes too. Okay. It's www.eileenbell.com. See, that's easy. Yes. Eileenbell.com, and I'll put it in the notes. Go. Okay, and the rest, uh, the rest of my connections, like I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. But those are personal; they're not public ones, right? Uh, no, I've got. I have a a public one for. What's your public one? Facebook. Oh, it's. Uh, Email it to me. I'll put it in the notes. Yes. It's like <laughs> mystery EC Bell or something. EC Bell mystery. I'll I'll send it to you. 
Send it to me and I'll put Sorry. it in Sorry, maybe I should have had post-it notes with all that stuff on here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Jane had a plan. Just don't put it over your microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, I will plug your book again, Tying the Knot, book seven coming out at the end of April. This will be out, this video will be out about then-ish. It'll be out in time for the fourth Tuesday, that newsletter. The, okay. The, the, the newsletter comes out near the end of the month. This video will All be right. on it, mentioned in it as well. And I'll put it on our Facebook page and blah, 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 and send you a link if you want to plug it too. But Tying the Knot, part of the Marie Jenner Mysteries, which are six are here, and then number seven. Yep. We want to thank Eileen for talking with us. And we will talk to you later. Thank you. It was great to talk to you. All right. Bye.